morning guys happy december 5th right yeah 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 december 5th what's going on um i'm obviously vlogging on my phone so i think my camera charger is in my car in my other bag um so i've been vlogging on my phone because my camera's dead but i think it's in my car so when i go to church this morning if it is i'll charge it um in like the office or something so i can actually use my camera today i think it's just like kind of nothing crazy um i'm pretty sure i don't have any responsibilities at church this morning um so i think i'm just chilling basically um and then planning on going to lunch with the family because it is my um grandma's birthday rest in peace um we're gonna go celebrate um in honor like her just all together and get some food so it's gonna be a good time um and then probably come back up here and I have like German homework and stuff that's due tonight that I still need to get done. And that's probably, that's probably it. So nothing crazy today. <laughs> Cousins. Cousins. Hey guys, we're back in the closet. Closet game, 2024. Yeah, I want you to, Wait, 2021. I want, I want you to go donate to people who don't have gifts this Christmas and give them gifts that they always wanted. It'll only take a little bit of money out of your pocket or you can create something from scratch and don't have to pay anything, but you should give someone a gift. It'll make you really happy inside and they will enjoy it and cherish it for years to come. Give someone a gift that does not get gifts this Christmas. Give someone a gift that does not get gifts this Christmas. <laughs> Follow any vlogs for free money. <laughs> Let's get rolling. Wow. We are going crazy up in church right now. Let's roll. Kylie, what's your favorite part about Christmas? You, Ali. Oh. Ali is just really nice and gives thanks to charities. So go follow her. Is um, it the food? Is it the family? Is it the gifts? The family time with the Davidsons. Is that really your favorite? Or yeah, is it? The, or is it the? Christmas is really fun. Aw, wow. My favorite is. Um, is me. All I want for Christmas is Lainey. Just kidding. I'm kidding! I'm kidding! Oh, she's mad. Oh, I hurt her feelings. Do you guys think she'll come back? Can you see my hole? Oh, yeah. Can I see your hole? Do you guys see something? <laughs> Look how creepy that looks. Wait, stay there. <gasps> Ew! You know it was Wow! <laughs> That's cool. He just Allie, got back from church. Allie just bought everyone dinner. She's being really kind this holiday season. My mom's drinking. <laughs> Give back to the world. Um, this year for Christmas, we're not going to exchange any gifts. We're literally going to take our money and we're going to give it to, well, they're going to give it to me. Yeah. Sure. That's, um, that's what she thinks. No gifts this year you guys. What you said? Um, gifts for everyone but you, maybe. <laughs> My birthday's coming up, everybody, so just a little throw out there. Uh, no, gifts. no one asked. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would gladly give you your money back. <laughs> guys, just go on a date with <laughs> Well, guys, um, it looks like today might be a combined day. <laughs> um, because my camera is literally about to die, I finally found the charger. Um, and I am feeling super sick. So, Vlogmas has been like such a buzzkill so far, and I wanna apologize. <laughs> um, my TV is like doing this, and I literally have the, the remotes lost, and I moved to a new place, and I literally don't know what the frick to do. So, if you guys know how to fix this, please tell me. I'm gonna go to my bookshelf and I'm gonna pull this book out. 
and I want to tell you guys about this book because I just read it so I want to do a quick book review before my thing dies. Alright so I just put these glasses on because my head is like pounding and I don't know why so don't laugh at me they're just like these blue light glasses so it just reflects like anything that I'm looking at my phone and my computer right now since it's um, the last day of the semester so I'm just finishing up some homework. Um, also I got these really cute PJs my mom gave me. Aren't they so cute? The book, um, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Um, I'm a super big Colleen Hoover fan. If you guys haven't read Layla or Verity or Ugly Love or things like that, I totally recommend. Um, I haven't finished all those books. Um, I had to do like samples and stuff like that um, because I got a Kindle and I was just like, experimenting, but I did read Layla and it's amazing. So I wanted to read a love story by Colleen Hoover because that's what she was like originally known for is writing romances. Um, and it's about this girl named Lily Bloom. Um, she loves flowers, <laughs> which is funny because that's what her name was, and um, Lily Bloom, you know. And so she kind of decides to go on her own path in life after her father dies, um, who is abusive to her mother. She really loves her mom. Um, she happens to meet someone um, the day her father's um, funeral was, and um, he she thought he was really, she thought he was really handsome. <laughs> and his name is Ryle, and he's kind of like this rough around the edges kind of guy. Um, but then Lily also has someone from her past, from when she was really young, and his name is Atlas. And he was kind of like her first love, her first like kind of everything. And he's this homeless boy who basically she fell in love with. And he comes back at the same time that this new guy, Ryle, is there. And it's kind of like this love triangle kind of thing um it's almost like the difference between lost and love and knowing like what true love is and what true love's not and also her finding like finally what she wants to do starting her own business um as well as just trying to figure out her love life um as well as grieving with like everything that happened between her mom and her dad um atlas coming back in her life and it's like this whole love triangle this book was just a really good representation of that i would re probably rate it from like a writer's perspective, it was amazing. Probably a 4.5 out of 5. From a reader's perspective and like just my personality and who I am, I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5. And it has nothing to do with her writing. Her writing's phenomenal. It's just I wasn't super like into, there's so many sex scenes. I wasn't, I'm not a fan of those. Um, a lot of lust that just like well, it wasn't love. It was a lot of lust. Um, I loved the friendship between Alyssa and Lily. Um, I loved Atlas. Um, I liked parts of Ryle. It was just like, you're either Team Ryle or you're Team Atlas, and like you kind of figure out as you go, but um, I just couldn't connect a lot with Lily. Um, she's a really strong woman and everything. I just couldn't get there with her. Um, I was trying super hard to just like like yeah Lily but a lot of me was like I just couldn't I couldn't connect with her but that's just me a lot of people love this book and I loved the writing she's an amazing writer um, the story definitely keeps you on your toes I think I read it in two weeks so this book took me a little longer it's it's pretty long um, well actually it's not crazy long it just it like is thicker compared to the other ones I read it's 361 pages so it's not crazy long it just feels like kind of long because there's so much that happens and there's a lot to digest and unpack I feel like you could try to read this in a full day but you just might not get the full message so it actually did take me two weeks um, and now I'm reading my next book I'm really like changing things up over here also I know the camera is like slanted right now so just don't mind that um, I'm reading songs of Achilles because I've heard like a lot of a lot about this book um, and I keep buying new books even though I have a ton on the shelf that I need to read. Um, my friend actually just gave me one too by Jodi Picoult and like there's just there's so many books I want to read but tomorrow I'm actually going to go to the cafe downstairs and read for a bit and catch up on um, studying for finals and uh, try to write but it's finals week so I don't know how much I'll be able to write but um, I'm about halfway through this book. I started it I think last week so um, I was at like a book a week but it's not really been like that anymore because I've been keeping myself so busy. So I'm gonna maybe talk about this book soon. Um, I'm not really Greek mythology kind of gal, but just like 
they, these kind of books just like aren't my jive but I really wanted to like push myself and there's a lot about this book I really really love and she's um, um, Madeline Miller she's a great author too like I just am picking really well I'm really good at authors recently so um, yeah Sons of Achilles but that was my review of It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover I hope you will go read it though if you're looking for something that will keep you on the edge of your seat and also just like there's a lot um, of like hidden messages in there. Very good, very sad. Um, some aspects were really, really trigger triggering, so just be careful. Um, if you've been, maybe read some like triggers on this book beforehand. Um, but it is a crazy, crazy journey. This Lily Bloom girl had to go through a girl. Why? Crazy journey this Lily Bloom girl had to go through girl. Just. You know what I'm talking about, girl. You know. Anyways, I can definitely feel migraine coming on. I'm super nauseous. So I need to get sleep before I try to get up in the morning and do life all over again. It's 11.27. So I'm going to try to go to bed now before it turns to December 6th.